What's going on, everybody? Xavier here with another Traffic Monsoon update. Now, today is November 5th, all right, and um, they officially had to go to court for the first time on November 1st. And um, I want to skip November 1st because there was nothing really interesting. You know, they both uh, they both stated uh, their argument, and um, according to Charles, the SEC took up most of the time wasted a lot of time on November 1st. And um, one of the interesting things that uh, you probably won't find posted anymore, or at least I couldn't find it anymore on Facebook, was that um, they kind of got a chuckle from Peggy Hunt, which is the receiver, because um, when she was called to the stand, I think they uh, think they asked her if uh, – you know, if somebody, if you were holding on to people's money and then all of a sudden like a corporation or a company or a payment processor, you know, took that money and froze that money and would that make you responsible? I mean, would that make, would would, it, would you be at fault because of that? Would you, uh, would you be the blame for that? And uh, I think Peggy Hunt said, absolutely not. Well, you know, that's the same argument what's going on with Charles right now, you know, uh, they're putting Peggy Hunt in Charles's shoes, you know, when, as you guys are aware, you know, you got a lot of people calling Traffic Monsoon a scam and calling Charles a scammer, but let's be real, guys. I mean, this has been said a million times over again. If it was, pay, if, it, if PayPal had never froze the funds, everything would have gone smoothly with no issues at all. And there would have been people screaming scam and saying this and that, whatever, but no one's actually picking the finger at PayPal. You know, they're, they're, they're picking the finger at Charles and everything, and they're calling him a scammer. Well, now they asked Peggy Hunt the same question, and you know she basically said, I, I'd be innocent in a situation like that, all right? Now, I can't find that information online anymore, but I got a chuckle out of it. Uh, Charles had requested members and uh, Facebook group fans and supporters to not um, make stuff like that public that, that's been going on in the courts on their walls because the SEC is monitoring stuff that's going on on Facebook with Traffic Monsoon and whatnot. So with that said, let's go to November 3rd, as you guys can read here. Um, <clears throat> there's a um, the conclusion, and the conclusion for the court case ends on November th on November 30th. Uh, if you read this section here, guys, I get the con I get the the idea that on November 30th there's a good chance that the judge, this will be like the final conclusion for the judge and she'll uh, go by Jill will make her decision on what she thinks. All information needs to be presented in court by the 28th. That's the deadline. And then on November, on November 30th, she will decide. So um, hopefully listen guys, whether this goes South well, this goes in traffic monsoon's favor or it goes south. In other words, it goes bad. Um, I think people are just looking for a final conclusion to this. You know, people don't want this to drag out in court for years. I don't want it to drag out in court for years. I want the final conclusion already, you know, uh, on what exactly happens. If, you know, if, if Charles loses the case, then we know that uh, the individuals that are that were involved in traffic want to get their money back. If you know Charles wins the case, uh, we know that it's a business as usual and will continue with traffic monsoon. So I'm happy with either or. Even though I would rather uh, Charles win the case and traffic monsoon watch it progress, and because um, I, I have a lot of ad packs on there, and I'd love to continue to where I left off, uh, you know, almost a year ago. So um, that would be great, but I think this needs to come to a conclusion already. If we scroll down, we'll see the latest update, guys. This is, came out less than 24 hours ago, this update. Let me scroll all the way down so you can see it. All right, latest news update, guys. All right, now this is basically explaining in a nutshell that Charles' uh, restraining order has been extended and he can no longer take donations or handouts from investors or people trying to help Charles to pay for lawyer fees and yada, yada, yada. He can no longer take money from people. Okay. Also, Peggy Hunt, the receiver, uh, the money's been taken away from her and put into an account. 
uh, interest bearing account. And um, I mean, that's about the size of it as of right now. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to get to the meat of the topic and not waste time uh, blabbering about this, blabbering about that. But that's where we're at now. Um, what do I think so far? Um, I'm looking forward to November 30th because November 30th is going to actually tell us whether this is going to continue going on or if uh, if the judge is going to come to a final conclusion about all this. And the judge is more worried about, in my opinion, on seeing receipts of money on where it went and also seeing uh, the terms of service and seeing if it's been manipulated or changed and, or whatnot. But like I said, I've been a member for a long time. And I remember I get into the habit of reading terms of service of whatever program I join or whatnot. And I remember I checked traffic monsoons and it did state that earnings are not guaranteed. And uh, the SEC's beef and argument is that they are guaranteeing earnings. And, um, you know, the judge is going to obviously see that and know that, it, that he doesn't guarantee earnings. But anyway, <clears throat> that's all for today, guys. And that's about the most interesting part of what I can find from this court case. I mean, if if you want to manually look for what's going on, Traffic Monsoon, you're going to have to go through a lot of fluff, a lot of uh, feelings, like, uh, you know, messages uh, stating on how Charles feels about this, how he feels about that. I just wanted to give you guys a short run and let you know and give you a heads up that November 30th is most likely the final conclusion on uh, what the judge is going to basically do. So, yeah, guys, I mean, that's the all the, the update for now. I'll keep you guys posted, and uh, I'll update only stuff that I feel that's valuable and stuff that you guys should know. Um, I don't like posting every week stuff that's going on with Traffic Monsoon because it's usually fluff. But, um, yeah, guys, that, I mean, that's it for now, and hopefully, uh, you know, you guys get an idea on, what, on what's going on right now and how everything stands with Traffic Monsoon. Guys, as always, post below. Comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, you, uh, what ideas you have, uh, how you would handle this case or whatever. But, uh, you know, let me know. Let's keep it peaceful, guys. All right. Um, I'll see you in the next update and uh, take care.